Hey, it's Paul. Today, we're going to look at adding facial recognition or rather age recognition into our application. This is going to be a small, fun application that guesses your age depending on a picture. It's going to use the Azure Facial Recognition API and let's create a new Angular app by saying ng new age recognition. This will also serve as a HTTP post tutorial too, but it's not necessarily supposed to be an over exhausting view at what we actually use with HTTP post, but nonetheless, we will be using that. Now that that has finished, we can CD into age recognition. And then of course, we can open this up inside of Visual Studio Code or the editor of your choice. And finally, we can run ng-serve o to open this inside of the browser. As expected, we do have our application saying app works. So we'll head back over to our editor. And from within the editor, we can go to the app component. And from within app component, I'll change the title to age recognition. And then we can generate ourselves a new service. So we'll ngGS for ng generate service. And as this will be a data service, I'm gonna call it data. We can move this into its own folder named services like so. And because we'll be accessing HTTP, we'll need to ensure that we've got the HTTP module imported and we do by default inside of our app module. So then inside of our service, we'll have to inject HTTP. So we can say private HTTP of type HTTP. We can import that from angular slash HTTP. We'll also need headers and request options. And then of course, we can write ourselves a function. So this function will be called get person age. It will take a parameter of image URL because we will be sending across a URL. We can use other content types here too, but for now we're gonna send a URL. We'll make some new headers by saying headers is equal to new headers. And we'll have to pass in a content type of application slash JSON. And then we'll also need to pass across our Azure API key. Now's the point where we need to have made an Azure account. So let's head over to Azure. I'm gonna make the assumption that you've already made an Azure account. From within Azure, we can of course, search for some cognitive services and we could click this face API and get the API key from that. There's a variety of other cognitive services that you can use within your applications, but we're gonna be using the Face API for this. Simply set up a new Face API, get the API key, and then we can add this to our application. We then need to pass in this header for this subscription key. And I'm gonna use the API key that I've created over at appservicesapi.key. And this is equal to the API key that I have over at Azure. We can then make some options equal to request options. And as we might have other things that we pass along with our request, but like I said, we could add other things at this point too. We can then return this .post. And when we're posting, we need a URL. So we can either add the URL up top here or inside of that function. We might use the URL again. So I'm going to say private URL. And that's going to be a string equal to the following link. This includes the face attributes, age and gender. So then we can pass in this URL and we could pass the options as part of our request options. But as it's relatively static with this one use case, we'll pass this. Then we can pass the body, which is the image URL. So the URL equal to that image URL because that's what as you are expect. And then any request options being these options, We'll pass along that. As always, we can call map and then the data that we get back, we can simply return the JSON response of that data. To use map, we'll need to import rxjs add operator map. And if we want to simply log this out, we'll do the same, but add operator do. And we can log the results of that. I'm gonna call this result because we're logging out the results at this point, not the data. Although technically it is the same thing, but we now have this service, which gets a person's age depending on an image URL. And if we've done everything correctly, let's have a look. We should be able to import this into our constructor. 
So by saying private data, data service, adding that import. And then we can have a button inside of our app component. And that button, when clicked, can call get person age. The input will be of type text. And we can have an ng model of image URL. We can pass that image URL into our function. So we can say image URL of type string can initialize that to being empty. But we may want to do something with it. We could add a default image URL or a variety of other things. And then if we call the get person age with the image URL, we can say this dot data dot get person age, pass in the image URL, subscribe to the results and say person age, which could be a string as far as I'm aware. This dot person age is equal to data dot, and I'm not sure what that will be yet. So we'll simply make that equal to data and we'll add the person age and we'll just simply pipe it out to a JSON response at this point. Let's take a look because we've done a lot of coding. Let's see whether it actually works. So I have an image of Kanye West right now. We're going to copy this image address. We are going to take this to our age recognition project. And we need to actually add our data service to the list of providers before we do anything. And add some text on this button. Get person age. If we put that image URL in and we click get person age, we should hopefully get a response back. And we do. We can see that our face ID, if we just make this a bit bigger, would be this here. So this represents this person's face. The attributes of this person, so at the time this person could have been around 34.4. It's recognized that this person is male as well as the rectangle of the face. So if we wanted to draw a boundary box over this inside of our image, we certainly could do that. So this is simply an example of one person. It's recognized age 34 and of course the gender male. Let's have a look where we have an image with two people inside of that. So this one might be quite interesting. There's an image here with quite a few people in the picture. Let's put it through the API and see what it can recognize. So that's quite interesting. It can find six people all with varying different ages and genders. The Azure API is way more powerful than simply guessing somebody's age or gender though. We can also do things like have a person face bank. So if that person is seen again, it can go, yep, that person is equal to this particular ID. And then of course we can identify that person in future requests. So this is really good in high security incidences. For example, if somebody was banned from a location, we'd be able to determine whether that person entered that location again. Perhaps we'd have a subscription where automatically that person would be flagged on the system and we'd be able to take appropriate reactions. So this is just some examples. Obviously, we're looking at somebody's age at this point and gender of the Azure Face API. Let me know what you get up to with these APIs. And of course, if you'd like to see more Azure content and let me know in the comments section below, there's way more as far as that can go. Don't forget, I've got a Patreon if you want to support that. I've got a Learn Ionic 3 from scratch course if you're interested in Ionic. And of course, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more videos. And until next time, my name is Paul and I'll see you very soon in the next video.